For multi-engine aircraft, the critical engine is commonly defined as the engine whose failure would cause the greatest negative performance impact. Part 1 of 14 CFR notes that critical engine means the engine whose failure would most adversely affect the performance and handling qualities of an aircraft. Determining the critical engine is directly related to aerodynamics of plates. Continue watching this interesting training video to find out so many interesting points about critical engine in multi-engine propeller driven aircraft. And I will conclude this subject by talking about jet engine airplanes critical engine. Hello everybody, I hope you are doing great. Welcome back to my new pilot job interview video. In this uh, training episode, we are going to talk about critical engine, which has been an attractive subject for interviewers. Before I start, if you are interested in aviation, and you want to be the first one to watch our training, you may subscribe the Aviation at Home channel. It would be our pleasure to have you on board. And don't forget, this video is sponsored by Kameli Aviation. The critical engine of a multi-engine fixed wing propeller driven aircraft is the one uh, whose failure would result in the most adverse effect on the aircraft's handling and performance. When one of the engines on a typical multi-engine aircraft become inoperative, a trust imbalance exists between the operating and inoperative side of the aircraft. This trust imbalance causes several negative effects in addition to loss of one engine's trust. When one engine becomes uh, inoperative, a torque uh, develops which depends on the lateral distance from the uh, center of gravity to the trust vector of the operating engine multiplied by the thrust of the operating engine. The torque effect attempts to yaw the aircraft nose toward the inoperative engine, a yaw uh, tendency which must be counterbalanced by the pilot's use of flight controls. Due to asymmetric blade effect or the other name P factor, the right-hand engine typically develops its resultant thrust vector at a greater lateral distance from the aircraft CG than the left-hand engine. This means right engine thrust has greater arm than, and, and, and gets a greater moment, so the failure of the left-hand engine will result in a larger yaw effect via the operating right hand engine which has larger moments rather than vice versa. It's uh, termed a critical engine since the operating right hand engine produces a stronger yaw moment. The pilot will need to use larger control deflection in order to maintain aircraft control. This means larger adverse uh, effect on the aircraft handling and larger drag vector and lower airplane performance. It's important to note, however, that this example 
depends upon both propeller turning clockwise as viewed from the pilot seats. But in other scenarios, I can say an aircraft with counterclockwise turning engine, uh, the right engine is the critical engine. So the critical engine depends on the rotation direction of the engines. And we have some other aircraft which the propellers rotating toward the cockpit. I mean, the right side rotate counterclockwise, the left side rotate clockwise. In this case, uh, we don't have any critical engine on these type of aircraft. If you know any of the airplanes like these three scenarios, just comment right here the name of these aircrafts. On certain aircraft, hydraulic, pneumatic and electric systems may be powered by one engine or most of the systems powered by one engine. This engine would thereafter be critical in this respect. However, this kind of design is not recommended by FAA since 1987 and nowadays you may not see or find any airplanes designed like this. Twin engine aircraft powered by turbojet or turbofan engines are not normally considered to have a critical engine because failure of any engine has same aerodynamic adverse effect as uh, opposite one and uh, all systems are equally shared on both engines. Thank you for watching me on Aviation at Home channel. I hope this video was useful for you and be informed we have more than 200 videos in our YouTube channel, Instagram page and website. Sit back, relax and enjoy your training.